All right, football fanatics, let's break it down. The top five NFL defenses after week five. And spoiler alert, there are a few surprises. So let's get right into it. Starting us off at number five, it's the Chicago Bears. Now, this team might not have the most terrifying record, but their defense is keeping them in games. Four sacks on Sunday, holding Carolina to five and a half yards per attempt. They've got a bite, but hey, Bears, if you could stop letting teams bulldoze you with the run, that'd be great. All right, coming in at number four, it's the Steel Curtain. The Steelers are tough as nails with the fourth lowest scoring rate in the league. But let's be real. This defense is giving off Jekyll and Hyde vibes. One minute, they're clamping down. The next, Dak Prescott's out there handing them picks like it's Christmas. Big plays keep them up here. But Steelers, consistency is key. All right, dudes? At number three, oh boy, it's the New York Jets. Yes, they fired their coach. I know, I know. But don't blame the defense for the Jets being the Jets. They're out there making magic without C.J. Mosley and Sauce Gardner, holding one of the league's best offenses to a miserable 3.8 yards per play. But Jets fans, look away, because their efforts are going to go to waste faster than the New York pizza left out overnight. Second overall, after five weeks, it's all about the mile-high mayhem. The Broncos are straight-up stingy on defense, allowing the fewest yards per play and throwing up one of the most efficient third-down defenses in the league. Pat Sertain's out there getting pick sixes like it's a video game. They've got that don't even think about moving the ball on us energy. Justin Herbert and the Chargers, you've been warned. And at the top, the big numero uno, it's the Minnesota Vikings. The purple people eaters are back. They just shut down the Jets offense to a pathetic 3.6 yards per play and put up a turnover clinic with three on the day. No doubt about it. They're dominating every metric that matters. But hey, they'll need the break in week six before facing the Lions high flying offense in week seven. Who do you think comes out on top? Leave your comments down below and tell us what you think. And that's a wrap. That's your top five NFL defenses after week five. Agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments. Catch you next time for more rankings, highlights, and the best of the gridiron.